Welcome everybody to this new video to Express. I'm going to show you how to install Facebook Pixel inside of Shopify and track that conversion in a very easy, easy way. So let's get started. First of all, what you want to do is to log into your Facebook business menu. If you don't have one, you can always go here into the facebook.com slash forward slash business tools better business suit. Inside here, you can manage all your business activity from Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, everything in just one place. So it's going to be strongly recommended for people who wanted to create pixels and all of that. And once we have logged it in, we wanted to navigate to the business manager dashboard. If you don't see the business manager dashboard, what you can do is to go directly here into all the tools. And you might be seeing that we have all the elements. For example, we have the manage, the billing and payments. We have business application, collaboration center, that manager, and so much more. Today, what I wanted to do is to only focus into the business as we are already in here. Now, what I wanted to do, of course, is to create a new pixel directly into the events manager. Inside here, this element, focus into advertised and focus into events manager. I clicked here and automatically it's going to be sending us into a new section of the business manager. Here, what you wanted to do is to make the creation of a new pixel. So here we are into the events manager. We can just create track events, including the installation of uh, Facebook pixel. As you should see here, we have a few information about the pixels that we have just created. So how can we create a new one? Let's go here inside uh, the Facebook pixel section. We click into add and create into create a new pixel. So instead of going and connecting a new data source, make sure that you have an actual business portfolio. As you can see, we already have one here. Now here into the upper side, I'm going to go for create. And here you can create a custom composite. You can create an ad, create a custom audience and create a lookalike audience. So now that I have my information already been set up, now we are ready to go into connect a new data source. So today, what I wanted to do, since we are actually wanting to connect a Shopify, this is an actual website. So let's choose web and go for connect. Now the name of the net that use it, so let's say for example, Shopify, we're going to scroll down here and the name of my website, I go for create and the new data set shall be created automatically. Now here's going to be asking us to enter an actual website URL. I'm going to copy this website URL. I'm going to paste it in here and let's go for checked. Let's go for next. And now it's going to be asking you, there are multiple ways to connect your data with Meta. How you like to use to help you choose the best options. What you want to do is to choose the option that says get guidance and go for next. I'm not sure. Next. And lastly, it's going to be asking us to set up conversions API with a partner. I can strongly recommend that you choose this option since already appearing all the options in Shopify here. So you choose Shopify. And as you can see, it's going to be asking us to choose a pixel. This is the part which you wanted to choose the option that says create a new pixel. And it's going to be asking us to create the pixel name. In this case, I'm going to go for the name of my website and where it comes from. Check your website for each options here. So here's my actual website URL, just to make sure that we are into the same page. I hit now into continue and my pixel should now be created automatically. Now here I have this actual section and here is my actual ID. As you should see here, we are already using this pixel to measure activity into my website. So we may not need to use this integration, but in this case, I'm just going to follow the instructions to go next and connect my Shopify. I completed the setup up here. I hit into next. I copy and paste my website and I just make sure that my pixel has not been tracked automatically. This might be taking a few minutes, sometimes it might be taking hours, but you wanted to make sure that all this information, but you wanted to make sure that all this information has not been tracked completely. And now lastly, guys, what you wanted to do is to make sure that after your actual ID has now been created, you wanted to go here into the trial and check out that your page is now interactive. Once you clicked into an actual website, you just wanted to go here into your website and clicked into any specific section you wanted to track. For example, if I go for catalog, I go for winter, I select, let's say, for example, this product, and let's say that I tracked the add to the cart. Automatically, this information should be appearing here into my actual trial pixel. And I can go down here and I make sure that this is the actual managed content. So I clicked in here and you wanted to make sure you wanted to make sure that all this information has now been tracked automatically. 
As you should see now, this is how I can track all the information about the pixels. And I can use this information to create an audience and to create ads uh, further later. That's how, guys, we can create an actual pixel and we can track all the information directly inside the data sources. So guys, as you should see now, we are ready to get started with the installation of the Facebook Pixel into your Shopify store. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more e-commerce insight, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching the video once again. And well, guys, I wish you precise tracking into the successful conversions, into the advertising and the boys. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.